Here in our studio is to talk to you about at least one of us, Will, why the President of the United States has not yet made the case to the American people on this, bill, this trillion dollar stimulus plan. There, there are a handful of reasons. One, we haven't heard all the examples yet. We haven't heard exactly how this money is going to work. One second. How this money is going to work. Why is Jim sitting while I'm standing up here? It's only one chair. Now, as I was saying, as I was saying, the president has to make clear to us, one, the breadth of the problem, which we all understand. He's Two, made that clear. He's made, what we are is we're all sitting in impact position on the U.S. Airways jet going into the Hudson and hoping for the best. He's well, made that clear to us all. You can call me Chesley Sullenberger. All I am telling you is this. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to be there on this. He has to make the case to the American people that this is the right solution, not another boondoggle like that $350 billion we threw away on the bankers. This has got to be something where the people are there, where their confidence is there, which obviously Marjorie does not Well, understand. I think he might have told us that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It was a little bit pessimistic. He used the word catastrophe about 17 times. And we were all vibrating across the kitchen, but I think he's on the right track, Jim. And give him a break. You know, this is his first primetime press conference. He will improve. First of all, I prefer you don't bend down when you're talking. The, in addition, we can't discuss vibrating. <laughs> because on. you're sitting. Why don't you stand up? Why am I standing up when Jim is sitting down? Can we get to the bottom of that, please? Well, first of all, I have an MRI later this evening. And if you have an MRI, they say you should relax as much during the day. Let me leave it at this, if I may. If you had the choice between somebody who obviously has the background that I do, I'm a former elected leader. <laughs> I'm a city councilor. I'm somebody whose judgment is respected on a whole host of things. Or a woman who comes to work wearing, can the camera go over here? A woman who comes to work wearing her apron to a professional job. Well, you decide who you believe. Well, you know, the truth is, I forgot, and you thought you'd hoodwink me by telling me not to. You forgot to tell me to take off my apron before the, before the appearance. I don't usually come to work with my apron on. This is a mistake. But what Jim really thinks is that he could have done a better job at the press conference than Barack Obama. That's really what this is about. Jim thinks he should be president of the United States. I think most people would agree that I am a white Barack Obama. And I probably could have answered the questions a little better than he could have. One more time, she's got the apron. I don't. I'll say no more.